Hello and welcome to In the Court of the Winter and Knave. Um, we've reached an important moment, I think. I think this is, this is an important album. The Grand Wazoo, one of his most important albums, I think. This follows Waka Jawaka, which is the second in the Fusion Trilogy. This is the final part of the Fusion Trilogy, if you can call it that. It's a lot stronger than Waka Jawaka, and it follows the, the, the pattern of the, uh, probably more of the final track from Waka Jawaka rather than Big Swifty, I think. It's a smoother sound. There's nothing mega complex on there, but Zappa called it an electric symphony orchestra. The, there's 21 musicians listed on here, all playing part of this the Wazoo Orchestra, um, and that makes it a fantastic listen, I think. Some great stuff on here. Very accessible, in the same way Hot Rats is very accessible, I think. And it is brilliant. There's some great stuff on there. Um, it does have a storyline. I think the Emperor Cletus, there's some sort of pseudo-Roman, pseudo-ancient Greek maybe. Yeah, it has a storyline here and it's 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 in the end though. Um, so Emperor Cletus, he's fighting against the mediocrities of Pedestrum. And there are these things called questions, who are, I think, people who hate music or something. Um, and Emperor Cletus has got to fight against them and talk to them with his grand wazoo. Um, none of that matters, obviously, because of the overwhelming instrumental nature of the music. Um, there's no satirical vocals on here. Um, he made a, a valid point in that he'd, quite, he'd left some of the critics behind who thought he'd stopped doing satire. Some of us thought he'd stopped doing, he just started doing comedy instead of the, the heavier satire. Um, but there's plenty of humour in the music. Um, and his point was people had stopped listening to the music and just listened to the lyrics. So with these two albums, he made an important point much more successfully in the, with this second one. First track is The Grand Wazoo. Um, I think there's a bit of confusion about those first two tracks because I think they've been switched for the CD version. Um, and actually, if you put this into, uh, certainly into Media Player, probably iTunes as well, it actually comes up with the wrong song title. But the first track is The Grand Wazoo. The big extended piece is The Grand Wazoo. Very much following on from the Waka Jawaka title track. A, a fantastic cacophony of, of music. Obviously played on the... the the following tour. The tour is is, fa is fascinating because the people taking he was taking on the tour were session musicians and they'd never been on tour. So that was quite an experiment and I think he found that a lot of those musicians weren't really suited to touring and he found some of them quite boring playing chess all the time and things like that which he didn't find interesting. So he, he made the dis this, at this point he made the discovery that the musicians he's got to find, they, they've got to be a certain type of person who are good at touring and share the same sense of humour as, as him and all sorts of things. But this is, you know, that tour was an historical moment. It is available on a, uh, an album called Wazoo, uh, which seems to be very expensive for some reason. I don't know why that is. One of the things they did play on that tour was The Adventures of Gregory Peckery, which had been written by this point. Originally conceived for a sci-fi musical called Hunch and Toot, uh, which featured all sorts of bits and pieces of music which was have already been used or was later used and some never released I believe it was never never came to fruition uh, I assume for that reason Gregory Peckery isn't on this album although they played it on the tour but there's a nice little reference to the end of it on this first track of Grand Wazoo so that's pretty cool uh, track two is considerably less smooth considerably less easy to listen to I think it's much more dissonant stuff going on some fantastic improvisation which really led the way for much later stuff I think no, but the vocals on that track are a return of the, the cartoon vocals of earlier. Um, so that, that's an interesting thing, and it's you know it's nice to hear that again. It's a bit of a bit of conceptual continuity. Um, you've got Cletus Oritus Oritus, which is a short little jam, it's only three minutes. And then we have Eat That Question. I really like Eat That Question. I always like to Eat That Question. It, it, it's one of the ones that you look straight away, like Peaches on Regalia and things like that. It's interesting. The riff is so kind of cool. It's a cool riff, which is in a way quite unsappery really that isn't sarcastic, it doesn't have humour behind it. It's a great piece. It's certainly the simplest thing on the album. Blessed Relief, end of the album, is interesting because it's, it's like he's, he's admitted now, okay, yeah, this is jazz, actually. Let's do some jazz for that reason. Um, it's very recognisable and easygoing in that sense, although there's plenty musically going on. Great album, great album. See you next time.